Good morning. It is 5.42 and I just got up. I haven't done any reading and I'm getting ready to get my workout in and then I will probably get some quick reading done while I drink my tea and have breakfast. Um, my little crazy purbot of a cat is here. Say hi, Simon. Don't know what tea I want to pick out for today. I kind of want a black tea, but I don't know. Mm, Palm Court is one of my favorite black teas, but I haven't had this one in a while. I think I might do that. This is a really good, strong black tea. So we're gonna set kettle to 12 and let that go. Now I gotta pick out a mug. I'm probably gonna have to take it with me, so I need a skinny one. That'll work. Making lots of loud noises in the morning. Probably gonna wake Justin up. Um, we have like this little tea station kind of thing by our um, stove. So I'm just gonna make some tea. So my tea is almost done and I have Animorphs because it's, you know, 6.30 in the morning so I don't want to read anything too complicated and I'm in the middle of the infinities which is a little bit complicated and not something I want to be reading when I've just woken up so I'm going to read some Animorphs. This is for you, Tanya. I know you appreciate this as much as I do. So I've read about a chapter of it already um, and I'm just going to see if I I'm as amused by it as I was in middle school because, yeah, I loved these in middle school a lot. All right, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna get my tea and my breakfast and sit down to read a little bit. Hey guys, so I didn't get to film anything else during the day because pretty much I just worked and worked and worked and I ate my lunch at my desk. So when my coworkers in the office I don't really film in there because that's weird even though she totally gets it but still it feels weird and uncomfortable so I didn't do that. So I'm home now. I've actually read a considerable amount of the Animorphs book. It's one of those things where it was like I didn't intend to read this all day but once I started reading it I remembered just how much I love these. It was just like wonderful teenage memories reading these. Uh, my friends and I read them all together when I was in middle school and then we had some like secret club and I think I was Cassie, like we were the different members of the Animorphs. Special, all kinds of special. But um, so I'm like 106, 110 pages into this and I want to finish it tonight and I might and I'm sad that I only picked up the one when I was at McKay's. I didn't get any other ones in this series so I was like I'm just gonna read the one because who knows if I'll really want to re reread more after that. But now I do and I keep remembering like some of the other books in this series and wishing that I still had them. I don't know what I did with them when I moved out of my parents house. But, yeah, they seem to be MIA. Who knows? Who knows where they went? But, yeah, I'm probably going to read more on this and then read some more on the Infinities if I, read, if I finish this or pick up one of the Lumberjanes comics. I have actually read the first bind up, but I think I might read it again because I liked it so much. It was so cute. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the evening. Um, there are two boxes over there. I'm pretty sure one of them has my headphone jack thing that will let me listen to audiobooks in the car once again. But I can't open it because my husband's not home. He needs to hurry up. I want to open those boxes. Hello, beautiful cat. Are you reading with me? Yes. Good morning. I would rather be in bed right now. I 
woke up this morning and my back hurts worse than it did yesterday, which is all sorts of fun. But I still am going... I don't... <laughs> this is what's happening. <laughs> Simon seems really fascinated by something that I can't see on the wall. I don't know what's happening. Now he's not going to do it again. He literally just jumped from like here to here while making a clicking sound. So, cat interruptions, but yeah, I finished Animorphs last night, and it was as good as I remember it as a teenager. I really enjoyed reading it again, and I will definitely be continuing on rereading that series. I don't remember how far I got when I was a teenager. I know there are way more books than I remember, so I don't think I read the whole series, but I... It's just been fun, and I think I'll probably continue to reread that this year, just sort of off and on. They're definitely good readathon books because they're quick reads. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I just started rereading Lumberjanes Volume One because I didn't like. I read it on my iPad through Scribd, and I didn't realize that like before each little section there was like a badge thing and they're funny and so I wanted to go back and read those in the context of the actual comic so I'm gonna reread that one and then start on volume two and hopefully I'll get through both of those today I don't see why I wouldn't just because they're so small and graphic novels um but yeah that's sort of my plan for today my audio cable did come in for my car so we'll see if it works and if it does all things are wonderful, and I can go back to listening to audiobooks on my drive to and from work. Um, I'm currently listening to Tiny Little Things or Dear Sugar by Cheryl Strahan or Stra Strand Strand. I don't know. I always try to say Cheryl Strahan, and I think that's a completely different person. Yeah, I'm almost positive that's a completely different person. Anyways, I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I just got back from walking, and it's cold. And I don't like it, and that is all. All right, well, this is the best thing ever because it plugs into my aux, which I didn't even know I had. Although I've always wondered why I had an aux button on my stereo, but I had no aux input, so I'm on B. <laughs> um, but not only does it work with my iPhone 6S, but it makes it so much easier because with the old way that I was doing it with my other phone um it's like an iPad com I mean iPod compatible thing but because it was made for like an earlier iPad iPod it just didn't function correctly all the time and it was like a pain to get to start this works like a charm I can use my phone to just like control everything and when I unplug it and take my phone into Starbucks as I do and then I come back out the radio doesn't blast me in the face so that's a huge plus um so i'm really excited that i can now listen to audiobooks i'm listening i think i said that already already and it's cheryl strayed i don't know why i want to say cheryl strayhand but it's cheryl strayed um it's fantastic and i almost cried on the way to work today because one of them was just so very touching and something that i really agreed with so several of them have been but that one really got me um but yeah i today has been off to a questionable start though because i went to starbucks and they're out of chai today which how is a starbucks out of chai like i understand it's a coffee place but chai is one of their like signature things for people who don't drink coffee which is this girl so i had to get a green tea latte which is good and i like it but not what I wanted this morning. So there's that, but I will not let it ruin my day because that's a stupid thing to let ruin your day. Anyways, I am gonna go get some work done and maybe I'll talk to you guys at lunch. So I finished reading Lumberjanes volume one at lunch 
which I've actually already read, <clears throat> so this was a reread. And then I realized, because while I was reading that, and I got to the end of it, and I was like, but this isn't where the story ends. And then I flipped through, I've already read volume two as well. So I'm kind of disappointed. I'm going to finish reading this one um, this week at some point, just because I, I liked rereading the first one, so I want to reread this one. But I, for some reason, thought that this was going to be new volumes. I didn't realize that I had read eight volumes and not just four, or not volumes, you know, eight standalones and not just four. So that was a bummer. The next two don't come out until April and then July, respectively, which sucks because I don't want to wait that long. And I could read it single issue. I think I have read some single issues. Simon, we're about to play your favorite game. Are you ready to play your favorite game? Where are you? <gasps> Look! You're a good helper. It is day three of TBR Takedown. I finished two books total so far. Um, it is eight o'clock, so I have to run into work, but um, I listened to some of my audiobook this morning in the car, and I read some more on the Affinities last night, and I hope I can finish the Affinities today. I'm kind of ready to just be done with that book. It's just okay, but I don't feel like it gets better overall as the book goes on, and I'm on the third part, so. I got my new iPhone case finally, so now if I drop it, I don't have to freak out. Um, I've had my phone for like, I don't know, a week, and I haven't had a case for it, and it's been kind of stressing me out. So now it's in its little life-proof case. All is well. I'm excited. Now it makes it huge, so it's hard to hold, which is weird, but I'll get used to it. I got used to the last one, so it's really no big deal. Um, my novelties tins finally came, which I think I'm going to do a video just showing those and what's in them and talking a little bit about them, um, because I already put them away, so I don't want to get them back out. But yeah, we're getting ready to go over to Justin's dad's house for Three Kings Day, and then I'm going to come home and try to finish the affinities, because I have like... 90 pages left or something and I really want to be done with that book. Good morning. I finished the affinities last night. <sighs> I pretty much wanted to punch that book. I I don't know. I I didn't find any of the characters to really be all that likable and basically I just kept like at the end of the book all I wanted to do was tell all those characters basically the affinities to go to hell because it just was like a bunch of freaking selfish people who wanted to be in charge of everything and it was just I don't know I just didn't enjoy it and I was glad to be done with it um I'm moving on to a different book now and hopefully I'll like it better it's one that's been recommended to me by several people, um, and that's Feed. I don't know who wrote it, but this one actually is about social media. Um, so I'm hoping to enjoy that because I'm borrowing it from a friend because he was like, you have to read this book. <laughs> and a bunch of other people have said I needed to read it and we're really excited to see it on my TBR. So yeah, I'm gonna be starting that one and hopefully it will be less disappointing than The Affinities. My cat decides to blow jangly toys every time I film. <sighs> so I just got home. Uh, we went out to dinner and then grocery shopping after work. So I haven't done really any reading today. I think I read like 20 pages at lunch or something of feed. But it's really small. Like it feels like it's an unusually tall and skinny book. And then on top of that, it's got like a ton of white space in the margins. So like very little of the page is actually text. So I think this will be something that's really quick to read. And I have no doubt that I will finish it before the readathon is over. Um, why do I keep calling it a, 
Okay, yeah, no, renaissance is the right word. Yeesh. Um, it's been a long day. Today was super dramatic at work, and so... <sighs> my brain is just not functioning at high capacity right now. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna read some of this. I've gotta actually edit some of this vlog tonight so that I don't absolutely hate myself on Sunday when I have to edit the whole thing together. But yeah, um, you guys see a whole lot of the inside of my car and my house because I pretty much don't ever vlog anywhere else. What are you doing, buddy? Was that all you have to say? No? Oh, sweet buddy. Cue the cat and his jangly toy. I mean, really. So, I'm off to kind of a slow start this morning, but that's okay. It's Friday, and I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm making tea right now. This is the tea that I'm making. It's um, one that I bought in Portland um, when we were on our honeymoon. And it's like vanilla-y and delicious. And I am seriously going to have to look into whether or not I can get it online. It's reading sprint time. So I finished the reading sprint. I read like 40 pages. Is that what you said? 40 pages? 36? 36. I don't remember. <laughs> but I'm like halfway through this book and it's alright so far. I don't think it's as good as my friends that wanted me to read it rave about it being. So we'll see. Maybe something crazy happens in the second half of the book. I didn't know. It sort of reminds me of this movie that Justin made me watch twice. The second time I did think it was funny. Was that movie called with where everything has ads on it? Idiocracy? Yeah, Idiocracy. Are you recording this? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. It kind of reminds me of Idiocracy in that everything revolves around corporations and like the schools are run by corporations and things like that. So, I don't know. That's what I keep thinking about while I'm reading it anyways. He's too clever for you. <laughs> You're all good, kitty. Come here. Good boy. You're a smart kitty. It is almost noon, and I have done zero reading and very little other things. I played some Sims this morning. That's not productive. <laughs> Um, we're getting ready to go run a few errands. I'm trying to find something for a tea video that I have upcoming on this channel. I'm not having a whole lot of luck, so we're going to see if we can find that today. Um, if not, I'm going to have to order it, which is going to push the video back a little more, which is unfortunate, but yeah, I didn't plan on not having what I needed. So there's that. Um, but yeah, I probably won't get a whole lot of reading done today. I'm going to take my book with me just in case. You know, we have some waiting time in various places, but we're going to run errands today, so... Success! We got what we went for! So now I can do my video this weekend. And I got way more than I meant to, so that probably means there's going to be a tea haul sometime in the near future. Yeah. I'm gonna maybe read, maybe go play Sims, we'll see. Today might be a big fat fail for TBR takedown, but that's all right. Sometimes you need it. <laughs> so I started The Secret Life of Bees, so I kind of changed up my TBR from what I had begun originally. That one will become my um, book that has been on my shelf for over a year because it has a Borders sticker on it, which means it's been at least three years, probably four, 
I don't remember when Borders closed, but it's been quite a long time since I bought that book. So it's about time I read it and I wasn't really crazy about um, reading the nonfiction book that I had on my TBR list. And then I don't really feel like reading Winter right now either. I'm not loving it. I, it's just so long and I just am not really in the mood for it. So I decided not to pick that one up and start reading on it again um, right now. So I started Secret Life of Bees, we'll see how I feel about that one. Um, but I've finished four books or three books in a graphic novel, which is pretty good for me. That's starting January off right, I'd say. Um, I have already done some filming today and I really have not done much else. I mean, I've been working on my tea video, which is why my kitchen table looks like this. So sneak peek there. That's actually going to go up a little later than I was hoping it would go up because I I probably could film it today, but I don't want to rush it. And so I think I'm going to wait and film it next weekend. Um, and so it'll probably go up the week after that. Um, so yeah, I've had a pretty productive day, but I could have done more reading. Basically, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today just because I have a lot to do filming and cleaning doing laundry and I need to put in a crock pot meal and sort of prep for the week, but we'll see I haven't done any more reading today um, I made dinner and I planned for next week and I filmed videos I edited videos I played a lot of sims but I did very little to no reading. I think I read four pages today in total, and it is 5.30. So I thought this might go this way where I did a lot more reading during the week and then I slowed down on the weekend because there were a lot of other things I wanted to do and had more time to do them in. So that's pretty much, I feel like, how most of my readathons go, but Four books is still really good for a week. Like that's pretty incredible for me. So I'm really happy with my progress and I now have to decide what I want to pick up and continue reading the rest of the month because I have a couple of things. I'm still listening to the audiobook for Tiny Beautiful Things um, and I'm really enjoying that, but I don't really listen to audiobooks on the weekends because I usually just listen to them while I'm driving or while I'm at work. So I didn't really listen to any of that this weekend. Um, I did pick up The Secret Life of Bees. The yeah, Secret Life of Bees. And I liked the way the first few pages read, so I may continue on with that. It's been on my shelf for a long time, so I probably should. Who knows? Um, I'm gonna go eat dinner and then I will probably do a quick wrap up tonight um, in a few hours before I go to bed. And that is it. All right, so how did I do in the TBR takedown? I finished Animorphs and I really enjoyed it. It was a quick read. I think I read it in one day and I loved the nostalgia and I will definitely be continuing on with this. And then I finished volume one of Lumberjanes, which I have read before, and then I found out that I've actually read the second bind up too, which is sort of disappointing because I was looking forward to more Lumberjanes, but it looks like I'm going to have to wait a while. I don't want to buy the single issues, so I'm just going to have to wait till April and then July to get more. Uh... So then I read The Affinities. I actually started this in December, and it was one of my books that I got from my Christmas haul. I didn't love this. It was probably my least favorite read of the week. It honestly just made me annoyed and you saw plenty of me being emotional about how angry this book made me in the end. I feel like if you are maybe into psychology this might be something that interests you because it talks about like how people relate to each other and like what a society would look like if you were grouped into groups of people who are just like you or who think like you. They aren't just like you, but you know, that it's like finding your own second family. But honestly, I just couldn't get over how selfish pretty much everyone in this entire book was. So that was that. 
And then finally I finished Feed. This one was recommended to me by several of my friends and I actually borrowed this from a friend of mine who recommended it to me and I just thought it was okay. I mean it wasn't bad but it also wasn't like mind-shatteringly good. It's basically about some teenagers in a time when you have like a feed in your head and what's supposed to be so great about this is that this was before Facebook and social media really took off. Um, it was published in 2002 so Facebook really wasn't around and it sort of talks in a way about our culture now except before we got here and so I think that's what a lot of people really like about it and I did find that interesting and I appreciated that aspect of it but at the same time I just didn't really connect with the characters and the way that they they use language because you know because they're so involved with this feed language is sort of being degraded and I don't know it just it was a little annoying, like their the way of speaking grated on me, and it reminded me of the movie Idiocracy. And as much as it pains me to say it, I would rather watch Idiocracy again than read this book again. So then I did start reading a few pages out of Secret Life of Bees, but then I remembered that I had an art copy that I had received through NetGalley for a book called Every Anxious Wave and I was really excited about getting to that so I decided to pick that up instead and I read a little bit in that about a chapter and a half maybe and then yeah TBR Takedown ended but that was sort of where I stand and I'm continuing reading Every Anxious Wave and really enjoying it. It's it's funny. So that was my TBR Takedown. I would love to hear what you guys read and your experience with the week and I will see you guys next time. Bye!